morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. It's Fabian today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Fabian. We're the Panthers. Panthers. Ooh. We're going to go down there to fifth grade to Miss Bartholomew's room to talk about the ice station tracking forms. Awesome. So, let's go. Yeah. That's right. We have three great stops to show you what makes Fabian strong, and these guys, our wonderful fifth graders, are going to lead us. Okay, so what are we doing here, guys? Show what we're doing. Right now, we're filling out our ISIP tracking form, our ice station, mm -hmm. for the monthly assessment. By setting goals, it helps you improve from last time. Yes. <laughs> Yes, so goal setting is something big across the campus, yes. and uh, Ms. Bartholomew has created this electronic system where kids go in and they set their ICIP goals, and then they plan out the steps they're gonna take to improve. Oh, that's really awesome. Okay, so what are your action steps for next month that you think you're gonna do to, to improve? Do the same thing oh. this time, just take my time. Take your time. Like really read the questions. They do have the reflection pieces there. Did they make their goal? Did I not make my goal? But then. Why do they think, and then what is their plan to grow? Because it's all about growing. Yes. Well, I love that it's also like you're putting this into the hands of the student, right? So right. they're able to help self-advocate for themselves. Yes. And for me, this is a big thing right here. Is Right. It know, does no good for me to have right. the data and put it on the shelf. Exactly. Like, like you're they empowering have to know them. what they're, they're at and where they want to go. I, I love this. What is my plan to continue to grow? Like, I think that right there is the key piece because, you know, students will all try harder. Well, what are you going to try harder next time? Yes. What exactly is that plan look like? And you're setting that up for them. This is, oh, right. thank you. Because those are life skills. So I love it because not only is she, like, really pushing goal setting to right. a whole nother level. Yes. She, it was a goal of hers, right? That, so she's accomplishing yes. one of her yes. goals through creating this for the students. Makerspace is pretty much one big activity of a bunch of activities split up and you get to express your creativity through the little things out there. So we can go around and like show you. Here's the first station. You get to watch YouTube and they get make like kids follow along for drawing. So, what are you doing at the clay station? I'm making a wax. Nice. <laughs> and what's the whole goal of Makerspace? Remember what we say, we say it's to express our feelings and creativity. Are you guys getting to express your creativity through these terms? Yes, and my colors. So this is one of our dual language pre-K classes. We have two dual language, and so what you'll see when we go in today is their Spanish day. They have certain days for Spanish and certain days for English. So first, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are Spanish. Tuesday and Thursday are English. In our dual language classroom, we, we value our biliteracy and our biocultural um, heritage. And so we want to be biliterate and bilingual and bicultural and maintain our identity. So we are gonna show you guys a little bit of how we do our letter sounds and motions. Sonido! E. E. Muy bien! Sonido! Sonido! Porque la letra H no habla. No habla. Y las sillas no hablan, ¿verdad que no? No. No. Adiós. Hasta mañana. Give me an